Hi guys, welcome to JDMAstar.com. My name is Jose Cornejo, and I'm here. To, we're here to show you how to correct minor issues caused by a low power draw from our LED bulbs. Today we're working on a 9400 cord. As you can see here, we have a single filament 1156, and this is for the passenger side rear turn signals. Normally, when you install an LED bulb, you get a common issue that we refer to as hyperflashing. Hyperflashing is basically the same signal flashing, but at a higher rate. Today, I have here, I'm going to show you our most advanced LED turn signal bulbs that are highly recommended in amber color. These LED bulbs include PX LED chips, which produce about 1200 lumens in white color, and more or less about six to 700 lumens in the amber color. These are highly recommended for the front or the rear turn signals. So, let's go ahead and show you what the hyperflashing looks like. I'm going to take your bulb, I'm going to insert it into the socket. And this is the dreadful hyperflash that everybody deals with. So, to correct this is real simple. We want to take a load resistor. We highly recommend our plug and play option. Here, we have our 1156 load resistor. It operates with 50 watts and offers six ohms of resistance, which is more than enough for the LED bulb to function properly. And now uh, we do offer our universal load resistors, which does require splicing the harness, but we highly recommend our plug and play options because it's simple and it's, you know, anyone can do it. So you want to take your plug and play resistor. Here we have the 1156. We're going to take the male side, insert it into the socket. Once that's secure, you then want to grab your LED bulb and insert that into the female socket of the load resistor. You want to make sure the pins are lined up, depending on the bulb size, and lock it in place. And there it is. The hyper flash issue has been corrected. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching our video. You guys have a wonderful day. And stay tuned for more videos on how to fix any common issue with our LED bulbs.